Let's talk Tanya for the ninth of Elul of a leap year. In yesterday's Tanya, we explained that the goal we're trying to accomplish is to have some sort of inner peace and tranquility during davening, bringing the internal warring factions, the animal soul and the godly soul, bring them together in the service of God. This is accomplished through a revelation of godliness within our souls, which that in turn is accomplished through us giving tzedakah before davening. In terms of giving tzedakah, however, there are two different types of tzedakah. And these two types of tzedakah are alluded to in the opening verse, the pasuk with which the Alter Rebbe opened up this chapter. The pasuk is a pasuk from Yeshaya. Which means, the act of tzedakah brings peace. The service of, of tzedakah results in security and tranquility which lasts forever. And we asked a few days ago, what is the difference between Maisa HaTzedakah, the act of Tzedakah, and Avoidus HaTzedakah, the work of Tzedakah, or the service of Tzedakah? And al Rebbe explains that Jewish people, because we are imbued with a godly soul by our very nature, we are predisposed towards kindness. And that is because our souls are rooted in God's attributes above, and in God's attributes, there's Chesed and there's Gevura, there's kindness and severity. However, in God's attributes, kindness is more dominant than severity. And therefore, as a result by us also, in our souls, which are rooted in the God's attributes, our kindness is dominant also. A Jew is a compassionate person, a kind person, a merciful, a merciful, a merciful person, and that's before anything, before any work. So there is the tzedakah that results from our inborn nature, and that is called maisa tzedakah. Maisa tzedakah means the act of tzedakah. An act um, that implies something which was done already. There's a certain level or degree of kindness within us which is done. It's a maisa, it's a done deal. We have it by birth. And obviously there's a tzedakah that results from that. But then there's something else entirely which is avodah tzedakah. The service of tzedakah or the work of tzedakah. And that is when we give tzedakah and we go beyond that which is natural, beyond that which is, feels good and feels right. In the words of our sages, Afilu me'apamim. There's a verse that says, no so in titain, that you should give charity to the poor person, but the, the verse uses a double, a double terminology. No so in titain, give you shall give. And on this our sages say, even a hundred times. Now we know it may be natural to give someone when they ask you to give them the first time, the second time, the third time. A hundred times is unnatural. You're like, bug off, go, take care of yourself already. But that is avoida satsnaka, that is the tzedakah, which is not natural. That is actual, takes work, and that is service. And these are the two different types of tzedakah. Maisa tzedakah, which is the tzedakah, which is a result of our natural kindness. And then there is avoida satsnaka, the work of tzedakah, which is going beyond our comfort zone in the area of kindness and going and doing and giving more than that. Now, we explained that through giving tzedakah, there's the resulting internal peace. What is the difference in the internal peace between Maisa tzedakah and Avedis tzedakah? The Alter Rebbe will address that question, and also we will wrap up this entire chapter, God willing, in tomorrow's Let's Talk Tanya.